Oh, really? Yeah. Do I have to? Yeah. What now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't even had a shower today. Doesn't matter. They can't smell it. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Merlin's Archery <laughs> Adventures. I'm actually really excited to talk to you today about something. Now, I know I've promised you uh, a video on the Bear Kodiak takedown and the um, Bear Grizzly, and I promise you they are on their way. Uh, I, I know uh, there's a couple of people sort of asking on YouTube where, where they are, and I, I promise you they are on their way. It's just I've been incredibly busy. Um, if, I mean, if you know anything about uh, about me uh, with this, uh, and this is the uh, Timber Creek bow, and that seems to have taken over my life at the moment, and I'm loving absolutely every second of it. Um, so what I wanted to do today is just talk to you briefly about uh, about this particular bow. I'm going to do videos on all the Timber Creek series. This is the Cottonmouth. I'm going to do one on the uh, on the Viper and the Cobra. But I just wanted to uh, just get this one uh, get this one <laughs> out there, just because it's it's. It's the one I get asked most about, and it's the one I'm most proud of, if I'm completely honest. The other bows in the series um, are, they're based on the Bowyer's existing designs, um, and we, we sort of put some tweaks in them. But this one here is, um, is, is a completely unique design. This didn't exist in any form beforehand. Um, so I've, I've been working with the, the, uh, the Bowyer's and we've developed this. And uh, I'm so proud to have had input into a, into a bow that I really love shooting. It's, I was lucky enough, and not everyone gets, gets the opportunity to sort of help create a bow that they would like to shoot, you know, their dream bow. I suppose it's the, the equivalent of being like a, a kid in a candy shop, you know, I said, well, what, what do you want? And I, it's, uh, the first thing I, I really wanted out of this bow was the fact that it's, um, it's, it's, it's a hybrid bow, a hybrid flat bow or hybrid long bow, which means you've got these lovely long um, reflex deflex limbs. Um, so you get a lovely nice shape. I mean, that's one of my uh, that's one of my favourite shapes in the bow. I think that's a really really nice shape. Um, so we, we went for that. So it's um, it's what's called a hybrid bow. So you've got uh, you've got really the, the best of, of both worlds. You've got the speed or the near speed of a, a, of a recurve with the stability of a flat bow or a, a, a long bow. Hence why it's called a hybrid. But you've got these lovely, nice, long limbs. The other prerequisite I wanted with this bow was I wanted the, to, to be bamboo in the limbs. Um, I love bamboo. I think it's uh, it's it's difficult. Once once I've I've been shooting bows with bamboo in the limbs, it's difficult to go back to a bow that hasn't got bamboo. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I've heard it uh, being called nature's carbon. But these bows have got two layers of bamboo in there, giving them a lot of speed. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to run this through a crony for you so you could actually see it, but my crony's uh, playing up. But uh, I'm getting consistently, this is a 45 pound bow, and I'm shooting the, uh, my Eastern Axis uh, trads out of it. Now these weigh in around 424, 425 grains complete, um, which is a fairly decently heavy arrow, but I'm getting consistently uh, an average speed of well over 180 feet per second, sort of, um, usually between about 185 and 183 feet per second so that it's uh it's it's a quick bow a very very quick bow which is and it, it's such a joy to shoot i love shooting it and just to give you an indication of of how much i love shooting it um i my favorite bow growing up the bow i always always wanted was a bear kodiak takedown that was the bow i always um, sort of coveted over over all others and I was lucky enough to, to sort of eventually get my hands on one. And don't get me wrong, I love that bow. And that bow was, was part of me for a, a year, year and a half. And it never left my side. And I absolutely loved that bow. And uh, until when I got back from Germany, uh, I was handed the first working prototype of a cotton mouth. And I, I'll be honest, I haven't, I haven't picked up my bear since I started shooting one of these. And that was back at the, the end of May. And uh, I just can't, I can't put them down. I honestly can't put it down. It just, oh, it's just such a lovely bow to shoot. And I'm so, so proud of it. And I hope you don't think I, I'm, me doing a video on this is me just a sales pitch. It, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to just tell you a little bit about this bow and just how genuinely proud I am uh, of this bow. And it's it's the, the I mean for a bow to make me put down my bear it's it's got to be something something special 
but I, I, I'm, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. But anyway, that's, I'm getting soppy. So let's, let's talk about some of the features of this boat. Now, uh, first thing uh, is the length. It is a 60, um, 62 inch boat. Um, so it's, uh, it's got very short, uh, short riser section, and lovely long limbs. So it's incredibly smooth to draw. You've got uh, two layers of bamboo in the limb, which makes it incredibly fast as we've discussed. The other thing is you've got a reinforced limb tips. You've got uh, there's two layers of um, micarta on the limb tip. Really nice, uh, really pretty limb tip actually. Um, and it can take uh, it can take a performance string. It comes shipped with a D75 string, but I've uh, I've, I've, put, I've got a um, I'm shooting a trophy on my string, uh, which is a really really high performing fast flight string, and that um, it copes with that absolutely fine. Still still really quiet. It's a really quiet bow. And it's, uh, it's one of the very few bows I've had that I haven't felt the need to insert any string silences in there. If, um, if you know me at all, I love, uh, I love the beaver balls, uh, I love the, the string leeches, I love slapping them in a bow, but I haven't felt the need to with this bow. It's so quiet, I haven't felt the need to put any string silences in at all. So um, that's another, another little thing. But, uh, but yeah, so we've talked about the limbs. Um, this, uh, these ones have got, uh, they've got clear glass on, the standard model, which I'll have a look at in a second has got black glass so that's the that's the limbs the, they come in two two versions well it's actually three versions but we'll just talk about these uh, these two to start with you've got uh, you've got the standard version which is this one here which is one piece uh, of techno wood which is very similar to say um, to that of, of maybe diamond wood or future wood it's uh, it's a nice dense um, laminated plywood really uh, but you, it uh, comes in this beautiful uh, to grey and black sort of pattern, which I think is absolutely stunning. The bows perform exactly the same. There's no, there's no difference in performance uh, and very little uh, difference in, in weight. Um, the the techno woods tend to be very very slightly heavier, but nothing that sort of would make any difference really. Um, but they they have got black glass on where the the the, uh, the, uh, the, the deluxe has a, a clear glass. But both two layers of bamboo, so it, it shoots exactly the same. It's still a lovely bow. Just a, a slightly cheaper option. Uh, as it stands at the moment, the, the retail price of the um, the standard cotton mouth is £249, but the deluxe is £299. So it's about a £50, uh, £50 difference in the um, in those two bows. But we'll look at this one today. Um, the This one has, it's got three timbers in it. It's got uh, this lovely paddock, uh, this lovely redwood here. Then you've got zebrano or zebra wood. Top, and then you've got these lovely white maple accents that are in there. And that was one of the hardest uh, decisions I think we had to uh, make was what <laughs> what color woods to what what colors to make the standard and the, and the deluxe versions. And that was something we agonised over such <laughs> such a lot. But we, we got there uh, eventually, and we decided on this lovely lovely red paddock and zebrano, which I think is a nice traditional looking color. Um, yeah, it's just stunning. But yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the grip. We have a lovely, lovely, nice, uh, probably what they call it a medium to low grip on this bow, but there's not anybody who's picked it up who's found the grip uncomfortable. It seems to fit everyone's hands so nicely. It just nestles, nestles in there really, really nice. Um, and the other thing I'm really proud of is this little, um, this little profile on the front of the bow here. Now that's pretty much standard across all the Timber Creek bows. That's a nice little standard of all the bows. It means you can, you can get a really good solid grip on the bow without um, without having a death grip on it. You can have a really light grip, but a, a, a still a, a secure grip, which gives you virtually zero hand shock. And that's one of the things I was blown away by this bow it was, was hand shock and, and the lack of it. It's you think for a for a you know a powerful bow you get some sort of hand shock, but there really isn't any hand shock at all. It just um, it just pops lovely really is such a, a nice bow to shoot and I I just I just don't want you to think that I'm I'm being dis, disingenuous by doing a video like this I didn't want to do a, a straight up review as I've done in in sort of the format of previous reviews I've done because I, I think that would be disingenuous because I'm bound to say it's nice because I've, I've had a hand in it but I, I just wanted to just do a little video just talking to you briefly about what this bow's about and how it came about. But uh, 
but yeah, I mean, this is just just a short little video, really. I've, I've probably rambled on way too much, but I will do. I'm going to do some more videos on the other types of boats, just telling you about the features. But this one, um, I just want to do a quick little video. This one's so dear to my heart. But uh, but yeah, I'll just recap the features. It's got a it's got a nice nice shelf on there, uh, nice generous shelf. It's cut two uh, two centre, not half centre. You've got two layers of bamboo in the limbs. You've got reinforced limb tip, so it can take a, uh, a formed string. Got a very comfortable medium to low grip, and it's quick, and it's smooth, really, really smooth. But uh, but yeah, that's that's my cotton mouth. That's the thing I'm probably apart from my uh, apart from my son and the two little kids I've got on the way. Um, it's probably the thing I'm most proud of. So, uh, so yeah, that's the Timber Creek Cotton Mouth. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I've, I've banged on for far too long about this, but uh, yeah, please take care, shoot straight, and I will see you on the internet. Bye bye. Now you'll see what I mean.